hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to be looking at how to create this report that you can see on your screen using power bi um, you have a slicer up here that you can filter and you can scroll to the right and filter for a particular item you have the total sales quantity number of states um, the item itself showing a pictorial depiction of that then the rating, the average rating of the item, the delivery type, distribution, then sales by state and sales by product itself, then the trend of sales. Let's get started. We we'll start by looking at our data set and we have the product detail and distribution. The product detail, we have the image URL, the category, the ID, product ID itself, and the distribution also has the ID which I joined the two data weights like Asin ID and also um, the channels of distribution, both the state and city, as the case may be. I have this particular file in the description below if you want to follow along. So let's get started. Um, we we'll start by creating a base shape that for our header. Insert shape, have rectangle. Then the background. We'll start by um, creating the shape for our header. Insert rectangle, expand that. Then um, let's insert the first slicer. We're going to be using the new slicer. And for that, we want to put our category. We're going to change the layout to single row and maximum of seven. Adjust that. Overflow, we want the overflow to be paginated to show the arrow and the direction of the flow to be horizontal. Then we don't want the title and let's quickly format that. Next is the card visual. We'll start by inserting the new card. Just that. And I want to have my total sales. I already have some measures created, total sales. It's just the sum of the sales column. I'll add that here. Then the next one is quantity. Quantity can be found in this distribution um, table at that. Then um, number of state. So we have a shipped state. So I will change this to be a count distinct of ship state. Then rename this. Then next is to format this and uh, I did add my images. So for the style, I like the size and height. And next is on the color value. So let's for quantity. The label itself, 
I want the labels to also increase. Then next is to add my images. I have some icons that I've downloaded from um, icon8.com. I will put the link in the description below. So for total sales, I want to add image. And the image type is normal image. I'll browse through my stuff. Uh, sales icon. I want it to be um, above my text then for quantity same thing for quantity also number of um, states Next is to add a descriptive image of the selected category. So this is going to also going to be a slicer, a new slicer. And um, I have the category in it. I am going to change the layout of the slicer to just be one card and a single row. Turn off the title and the color value. Then add the image. We have a column for image URL of the categories. So I'm going to add that here. So I'm going to fit that to normal. So this actually shows what is being selected on the slicer. And okay, I want a description. So let me add a description as my label. I'm going to add the product name as the description. All right, so next is the trend of sales. We are going to insert an area chart and we are going to insert the sales measure and date from our distribution table. So I'm going to format this to make it look better. Next thing I'm going to do is to highlight our minimum and maximum values on this area chart. So for that, I've created some measures. We have our max data point to help us highlight the maximum data point here. So what this measure is doing is that this first part checks the maximum of the selected distribution date and selected part of that particular data finds the maximum. If the maximum is to equal to the total sales, return the maximum. If not, return blank. The minimum data point also is the same thing, just the opposite. If the, it first of all finds the minimum of the selected part of the data, which is related to the date. And if the minimum of that particular selected part is equal to the total sales, return the minimum. If not, return blank. So I'm going to add that to this data um, chart now to identify what we have. 
at the maximum and the minimum. So right now you can see the maximum and minimum. So I'll quickly format this. Turn on the marker. All and turn off for sales. We only want the maximum and minimum. Then for maximum data point, we want the color to be green. For the minimum, we want the color to be red. Then turn off the turn on the data label as well. Turn off for total sales. We only want that of the maximum and minimum. Then for the maximum data point, okay, we have that and the minimum. So the next thing I'm going to do is to turn off the legend. Then change the title. Turn on the border. So um, the next thing we are going to do is to create, check the average rating. For the average rating, we are going to be using a custom visual rating visual. You can download this by going to get more visual. Type ratings this particular one in order to be able to access this part you need to have a power bi pro license download this and it comes in here i've already downloaded it so i'm going to use it now and adjust this to fit our shape then add the ratings data to it right now it is some but we want the average so i'm going to change this to average rating for each one now you can see that it's showing the average rating for the particular um, category that we selected then i'll format this basically the border and increase the font okay then the next one is um, sales by delivery type so we're going to be using a donut chart for that here So in that case, I'm going to drag this down a little so that it will fit our concept. Then we have our total sales by delivery type. I'm going to format this. So we want just percent of total legend bottom center legend title of slices then the border next thing we are going to be looking at is to create a bar chart for the product so to do that we are going to select a bar chart adjust it add the product name 
and then sales. Then I will copy and paste this. State change the product name to state. Finally, I am going to be adding our Amazon logo here. Start. and that is all for the report thank you thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe